We are at Rose Bowl Stadium, which is right in the middle of a $156 million renovation. We'll tell you about some improvements that Badger fans here last year may notice this year. And we're kicking off our team coverage for the famed Rose Bowl tonight. Good evening, I'm Eric Franke. The Badgers, of course, just days away now from the granddaddy of them all against the Oregon Ducks in Pasadena. And that's where we find Jay Wilson and Susan Simon. Once again, hello, guys. Hi, Eric. Tonight we are in Pasadena. We are outside of Rose Bowl Stadium, which honestly is even more beautiful, I think, when it's lit up at night. And it's a little cooler tonight than yeah. it was this afternoon, we're breaking out the coats. But still pretty, yeah. no question. Yeah. Yeah, well, the excitement is certainly building as we get closer to the big game. And coming up tonight on Rose Bowl Extra, Coach Brett Bielema arrives for what might be his favorite Rose Bowl tradition. Where else but Pasadena can you see an entire football team eat its weight in prime rib. We'll take you to the annual Lowry's Beef Bowl. And we all know that Badger quarterback Russell Wilson is number 16, but you may not know there is another number 16 on the football team. Emily Cumlin has more on that story coming up a little later in the show. Plus, it's decorating week here in Pasadena as volunteers get the magnificent floats ready for the Tournament of Roses Parade, and we'll take you behind the scenes. Yeah, that and a whole lot more coming up in just a few minutes in Rose Bowl Extra. Eric, back to you. All right, we look forward to it, guys. Thank you. After one final practice, this today, the UW Marching Band is ready for the Rose Bowl. Band members packed up their gear before an early flight tomorrow. They'll arrive in sunny SoCal and head to the practice field to gear up for the 123rd Tournament of Roses Parade. Trumpet player and freshman Michael Cook says he's looking forward to this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It's a great honor to just be able to be in the marching band. Um, great experience. You get welcomed in right away. And to go with these people is... I mean, it's a once in a lifetime possibly thing. Some of the sophomores, people got two times already, but I mean, I'm grateful to go. I'm so excited. For the kids who've never done it before, it's exciting for the old kids now who did it to see what it's like, to see all that, that anticipation and to see the excitement. I think that's what makes it special this time because everybody's sort of bringing the new people along. And Mike lets them have a little fun as well, of course. They'll be at Disneyland tomorrow and playing in the big game on Monday. In the